Benzino been getting pegged by a leg. Oh, hell no. Nigga, kill over a bitch, but let a rat keep his wife. So we gonna start right here. Benzino. You got some nerve going at Eminem. Arguably the best, one of the best lyricists, one of the best rappers we have ever seen, like pound for pound. You got some nerve and you got skeletons in your closet like this. Yo ex, she 34. Now, I'm not against dudes getting younger females, but I know why you got a younger female because of how you act. The way you act is like, like you 18. That's one. Two. Yeah, you act childish. But, um, and she don't seem childish at all. But you got with her before 34. So just imagine. The only person that could deal with you is a woman that's learning herself, growing. Not no, not no woman that's already developed. But she says she used to peg you so much you couldn't even control your bowels. You a weirdo. You really a weirdo. And you asked her, would she have a three-way with a transmission? Transmission? Listen here, man. It's a lot of stuff going on in this world today. They used to be bad. Now it's good. And everything that's good is bad. The tables have turned. I, I'm not gonna speak on it no more. I'm 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 gonna get more into it after the video. Y'all check this video out. Damn near for for three years and not go out. He you know he alienated me from my family, my friends. Um, if I wanted to have somebody to talk to, I couldn't do that. You know, um, oh, he didn't let you have nobody to vent to. Right. What do you what, mean sexually? You said he had you doing what? What, 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 what the f sex is sex? What? What? what what's y'all? What's going on? BDSM shit or what the fuck he into? Just um. Hmm. I see what you oh. text me. You said that they, you said yeah. you paid that so much he couldn't control his bowels. Yeah, that's, that's more than pegging, Ashley. That ain't you can't control his bowels. That's some other shit. Yeah, and I, I really, I yeah, it's true, but it's just it's really like just hearing it, me telling somebody else, it just feels so uncomfortable. But I'm, I'm, um, I, I just well, you know, you say you even want somebody to vent to and talk to. Shit, you got, I, I ain't tripping, dude. I don't put him like that. Mm -hmm. Period. I don't do. You know, I don't do. Yeah, I on the phone with some girl that you uh, that you knew or who was somebody who was once mm -hmm. close trying to make a smearing campaign of the situation. Then he, like right. he said, I have her killed. He told me he'll have you killed out there and have somebody put hands on you. You know what I'm saying? So he always yeah. wanted to throw somebody with something. Yeah, you know I don't worry I mean? about you. He be all right. I'm only trying to kill me all my life. Ain't nobody worrying about him. He'd be okay. He's still trying to figure out life at his age. Out in his fifties, gotta be. Um, he fifty eight. He fifty eight. Yeah. Oh, he about to be sixty. Six. Yeah, July sixteenth, nineteen. I forgot the year. He's fifty eight. And how old are you? I'm thirty four. 
44-54. God damn, girl. Mm -hmm. That's 24 goddamn years. God damn. Mm -hmm. So what is it that he's so fearful of? Because there's something about you he's fearful about. Everything that I told you is true. So, you, I mean, and then he just called me, threatening me, talking about, oh, it's, I'm going to record you in a conversation, and this this conversation is recorded. I didn't know who was calling me because my sometimes people call me block. All you got to do is hang up. Yeah, I, I hung up. I listened to what you said. <laughs> but he called me saying that, you know, and I was telling him, I'm like, why don't you? won't you tell won't you tell the truth like well i know he's not gonna tell the truth but won't you just keep it real that i'm not lying about what i just said to whack he's like i don't want to hear that he's not denying i'm going over all the things that i just text you i'm saying hey what i just text whack all that stuff I, i'm going down the list i'm saying benzino you know you did this you know you did that you know you did this so He's not denying nothing. He's just like, oh, whatever, whatever. Then he goes, oh, you still love me? This ain't about love now. At the end of the day, this is not about love. Because you you damaged me. Like, I'm damaged. I'm not, I'm now, I'm I'm thinking everybody getting pegged around here. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm damaged. So, yeah, this is crazy. And the stuff that he, it's just so much. Uh, I just. I only I hate to even be talking about it, but I had to talk about it to somebody because this is it's wow. But I just want you to know everything uh, he's, um, on it. I was reading this shit, right? Mhm. Mm he he told you that he BBJ daughter, right? Like, why would he tell you that? <sighs> he told me that. He was and high one he showed, day. He showed you the he video? He was high. He was high one day and he told me. Oh, okay. Yeah, that might. He told me. Yeah, he was on an influence. He wouldn't have told me that if he was sober. He don't even. He's a whole different person when you're high. And he told you had sex with his baby mama niece that was underage. He must have been high then, too. I, yeah, he, he didn't tell me that. I heard him going on the phone with one of his baby mothers. And his baby mother was arguing with him about it like why did you my niece she was under age and he was just like why he was like i never i never did that i never did that you know what i'm saying i don't want to say which baby mama name yeah, and this is what wait he was comparing like women like what what you mean by comparing the women to his daughter like they talent or like they build or their bodies i don't know i just he was on the laptop one day and that again, he was high, and he was sitting there, and he's like, look at this. And I'm like, look at what? And he was like, don't this look like his, do his daughter? And I'm like, that's w that's weird. It's like, why would you say something like you're that? You're looking at porn, and you so that bad. To I got into it with him so bad about it. Oh, no, 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 I, I didn't mean it like like that i didn't mean it like that then one day we was having sex um he was put the uh the, my dildo the, the purple one he put that in his mouth put on my panties you put your panties on and put the dildo and in his mouth like i keep i keep saying this you know like if you are gay or whatever like that just let it be like don't hide it from the world like you don't, or don't go online attacking people of the that community if that's what you are. You know what I'm saying? And that was the problem. That, that was the that, problem. Is there are some women out here that will accept you for who you are, but don't go and attack people because you mad calling them all type of names and stuff because you mad that somebody just outed you. Yeah, that's crazy. He asked me to have a threesome one day. What he did, he said, "Would you ever have a threesome with a tranny?" I'm like, "Benzino, just tell me if you gay. If you gay, you gay. Just, just say it. Just say it." At this point, yeah, you're he gay. asked me that. At this point, you gay. You keep doing all this gay stuff. Just, just. 
Yeah, if he asks you that, <clears throat> listen, <clears throat> if he put on your panties. My, they were thongs. They were pink. I remember it. They were some pink thongs, and he just was arched his back up and his butt in the air, and then I was just like, "This is sad." And by this and what time, what did he ask you? What did he ask you? I don't remember what he asked me. I just all I got is a picture in my head of him with that arch in his back with them pink panties on the thongs. I don't can't remember. He got on his knees or something. He was on the on his knees on the bed, like with his back arched up. He tripped, and he put the purple dildo in his mouth. Yes, he put it, and then I said, I said, why would you want to? I I slapped him. I said, why would you want to do something like that? Then he said, man, you never want to have any fun with me. And I'm like, what the? So all these times, after a while, I just in my head, I just say, okay, he gay. Yeah, at that point, he gay. But but listen. You told me that you peg he had you peg him so much that couldn't keep his bowels right. So, hey, what he had you like with a strap on or just a regular handheld dildo? So he would buy me these strap on. He would go to the store and get them. I never asked him. He would go to the store and get the strap on, and he'll bring them back to me. I thought it was for other. people. Things, you know what I mean? I'm not a, I'm not innocent. I'm not a nun. Um, yeah. But I thought it was for other things, like you know, maybe a threesome. You know what I mean? Ooh, and nothing. when I, so yeah, he definitely. I was doing that. Yeah, I was taking. So you thinking he gonna bring another female, and you gonna use that on her? Yeah. The whole job is for him. Yep, and he would buy more and more. And then I got to the point I didn't want to do it. But. Nah, because that ain't what you was into. You trying to satisfy him. But what you mean by more and more? We would buy bigger and bigger? Bigger. He could pick out the color. They'll always be like darker, darker ones. Nothing wrong. I, you know, I love. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, he would. Pick, it would just be weird for him to pick those. You know what I mean? The side, they would be, you know, whatever size he wanted, you know. So he pretty much turned you out into doing shit to a man that you never had I the never, mind to do. I never, I never, he did an interview recently and was talking about how he get his ass licked and stuff like that. And I'm like, why would you go on there telling, why you keep saying that on the interviews? He did one on uh, the We in Miami podcast. And the, if you watch the full interview, he's, and I'm like, why are you telling? <laughs> why are you why are you telling people that? You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's crazy. But I know this: if you're done with it, just be done with it. Mhm. You know what I'm saying? Mhm. Yeah, I'm done. I'm, that's it. I can't never be. I can't be seen with him. I don't want to have nothing to do with him. He's moved. He's. I put him out the house, and he's been removed from my lease. Um. And I'm. Re- I was able to remove him off the fact that you know he mentally abusive, mentally and physically. And so I removed them off my lease. So I'm um, good. It's just that, you know, 